Reporter Digital Anchor Christine Barconi joins us now from the NBC 4 i Streaming Center with a look at the stories making headlines online this afternoon. Hi, Christine. Hey, good afternoon, Jennifer and Brad. So it's time to check your fridge. A voluntary recall has been issued for canned Starbucks drinks sold in several states due to a potential contamination. The USDA report says that more than 220 cases of this Starbucks vanilla espresso triple shot are being recalled due to possible metal fragments within the beverage. The report says only the 15-ounce can and sold in packs of 12 are impacted by the recall. Recalled cans were distributed to retail stores in seven states. Ohio luckily not on that list, but neighboring Indiana is. For a full list, you can go to NBC4i.com. Also trending, MyPillow Chief Executive Mike Lindell says federal agents have seized his cell phone. He says that they also questioned him yesterday about a Colorado clerk who has been charged in what prosecutors say was a deceptive scheme to breach voting system technology used across the country. Lindell says on his podcast that he was approached at a drive through of a Hardee's fast food restaurant in Minnesota by several FBI agents. The circumstances of the investigation are unclear at this time. You can read more on NBC4i.com. Also trending is a Buckeye flashback. Digital reporter Ori Benatar did some research on the Ohio State University's 130-year history of playing interstate teams as they gear up to take on the Toledo Rockets this Saturday in the shoe. Here are some fun facts for you. The Ohio State's 133 years of Buckeye football. They have played 28 Ohio teams in total it for 257 times. In the middle of all that, though, for 57 seasons between 19 and 1991, no in-state matchups were played for whatever reason. But since 1992, Ohio State has scheduled games against Ohio schools 29 times, including six games against Cincinnati, five against Bowling Green, six versus Miami, Toledo and OU three times, and then Kent and Youngstown State two each, all of which they won. Ohio State has not lost to another Ohio team in more than 100 years. And finally, trending right now is a list of the top 10 most expensive homes for sale in central Ohio. They range from 2.7 to 6.7 million dollars. And you can scroll through this list on NBC4i.com right now where we have the real estate listings linked if you're in the market or if you just like to look at the photos like I do. If you scroll to the number one home here, you can see that it is in Fairfield County and Lancaster. It's actually a home slash event space called Rock Mill Brewery. You've probably heard of it. Built in 1900, the 5,000 square foot home sits on 23 acres. Home features three bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a brewery tap room, pond, and much, much more, Brad and Jen. Why would you need seven bathrooms if you only have three bedrooms? Because it's an event well, space. If, if like four people are staying in each bedroom, then you got to have a bunch of bathrooms. Well, they also like host like a big events. I've seen like the people can like bring picnic baskets and yeah. different things by the beer, beer there. So that makes sense.